What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and this is my unboxing and first look at the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now, there's probably gonna be hundreds of unboxing videos of the S7 online today, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So in this video, I'm also gonna be comparing the S7 Black to the S6 Black. That way you can see detailed differences in terms of the design and build. So let's get straight to it. Looking at the box initially, it is a full black box here compared to the white box that we had last year. Another thing that you will notice is the difference in the color. So although both of these are black, last year we had black sapphire, this year we have black onyx. And we'll take a more detailed look at the color differences shortly. So getting straight into the unboxing, first up we have the device itself, which we'll put to the side for just a moment. And then we have a pack which includes our SIM card ejector tool, quick start guide, warranty card, regional lock guide, and some information on how to use the USB OTG device, which does come in the box. As well as that, we have a micro USB to USB cable. Unfortunately, there is no USB type C this year round. There's a power adapter, which supports adaptive fast charging. The USB OTG device. Now this is awesome that they've included this. I've been using this with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and it's very, very useful. Finally, you also get your headphones. Now they actually come in a plastic box this time, but they are your standard headphones. Now let's go ahead and remove the plastic. So firstly from the back and then on the front. Now looking at the S7, in comparison to the S6 in hand, there really isn't much of a size difference. The S7 is slightly smaller, roughly about a millimeter smaller in terms of the height and the width. However, it is roughly about a millimeter thicker and that is partly because it has a larger 3000 milliamp battery compared to the 2550 milliamps on the S6. Now up front, both of these have a 5.1 inch Quad HD display. One thing you will notice right away is that the S7 does have an always on display. This is something that you don't have on the S6. Taking a look at the top of the device, you can see that we have our five megapixel front facing cameras on here. There are some improvements, however, with the S7 because it's got an F1.7 aperture compared to the F1.9. And I've covered this in my S7 versus S6 camera comparison. So if you wanna see the specific differences in quality for the front and rear facing cameras, definitely go ahead and check it out. Now, the other thing you'll notice is the earpiece. You've got a full black earpiece on the S7. On the S6, it's silver. I personally do really like the flush black look on here. And this is also continued over onto the fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is also a little bit more square compared to the more rounded one on the S6. The screen on the S7 also curves over a little bit more compared to the S6. So this should generally make it a little bit easier to use. Now flipping the devices around, you can see that we've got our cameras here, 12 megapixels on the S7 versus 16 megapixels on the S6, but you have f1.7 aperture versus f1.9 on the S6. And although you have lower megapixels on the S7, it does really help in low light. Once again, this is all covered in the detailed camera comparison, which I'll be linking to in the description below. Now, what you can also see is that the camera protrudes out a lot more here on the S6 compared to the S7. It also has a silver outline compared to the black of the S7. The line also continues over on to the LED flash and the heart rate sensor. Now we can see the color difference a little bit better here on the back as well. The S7 is definitely a lot more black compared to the S6, which does look blue under certain lighting. And I really do prefer the full black finish here on the S7 compared to the black sapphire on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now on the bottom side of the back, you don't actually have anything. Certain carriers might have the logo imprinted on here, but you don't have that here in the UK at least. The S7 also curves around on both sides, making it a lot more comfortable to hold compared to the flat back of the Samsung Galaxy S6. Another thing that you'll notice straight away as well is that both of these are fingerprint magnets. Now, as you know, a great way to overcome this is with a dbrand skin and thanks to dbrand for sponsoring this video. So dbrand have a huge variety of skins, both for the S7 as well as the S6 and many more devices. And it's a great inexpensive way to customize the look of your device and also protect it from scratches and fingerprints. I'll drop a link to dbrand in the description below. So definitely do go ahead and check them out. Now moving on to the bottom, you can see that they are very similar. We have a bottom facing speaker, a microphone, 
a micro USB input, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There is however a slight difference in the color of the metal frame. The S7 is slightly darker compared to the slightly lighter silver of the S6. Now there's no flaps here on the S7 and that's great because it is IP68 water and dust resistant. This is something you do not have with the S6. On the left hand side you have your volume buttons and you can further see the curve back here on the S7 which looks very very nice. The frame is also flush whereas on the S6 it is indented slightly. On the right hand side you have a power button on both but the S6 has its SIM card tray here as well. The S7 has the SIM card tray on the top of the device but this also has space for a micro SD card. So expandable memory is back. This is not something that we have on the S6. Something we do have however on the S6 is an IR blaster. They got rid of this on the S7. Something to bear in mind and I know some people will be upset about that. And finally there's a secondary mic that we have on both two. And from this angle it's also noticeable how much more the S6 camera protrudes compared to the S7. So there we have it, the Samsung Galaxy S7 an unboxing and first look versus the Samsung Galaxy S6. I personally am really liking the S7, the changes that we have here, that black finish as well as the curved back which looks very very nice. Now you would have already seen plenty of S7 Edge coverage here on the channel so far, but if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to cover with the S7 Standard Edition, then do drop me a comment and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming up on here. My previous related video will also be linked here in the annotations, so definitely do go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.